Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today And this mod is called the lumberjack mod for minecraft 1.6.4 This mod was created by a computer dog So a computer dog went ahead and made this awesome mod for us So in minecraft normally it take us like hours and hours just to clear up a jungle Just to get some wood just to build a house and that's not even it because you know in minecraft There's so many objectives that you need to do you need to go find an ender dragon make several bases and it's just a pain. So why don't why isn't it like a lot faster to collect wood? There isn't a really a fast way because in Minecraft physics are all broken where if you cut down a tree it's going to be floating in midair. But now this mod introduces something amazing. The Lumberjack mod is a simple mod that allows you to cut down entire trees by breaking only a single block. So if I open up this chest right here, you can select any sort of axe that you want. You could uh, get a wooden axe, a stone axe, an iron axe, gold axe, or even a diamond one. So if I come over here towards this jungle, what we can do is cut down this entire forest using just a wooden axe. And trust me, this wooden axe is not going to break. So um, if you guys are used to t the timber mod or even the tree capitator mod, those mods are very unique where if you cut down one tree um your axe is going to take a lot of durability and it's probably going to break very soon especially if you take down an entire jungle tree but this mod doesn't really mess around with the durability what it does is if i just cut down this tree right here aha all of it is gone and if you look at my wooden axe it didn't even take any durability as if i was just breaking one block now that is one downside the con of the mod but it doesn't really matter if you guys want to clear out an entire jungle now look at all this wood that i got now instead of spending more time you know cutting down trees instead of spending time cutting more trees you could spend more time building the house with all this wood and all you have to do is just cut down one one huge tree so what we're gonna do now guys is we're just gonna demonstrate even more cutting down trees we're gonna get it from the very bottom right here it doesn't matter where you get it so I remember in the past uh, mod, the timber mod, it really does matter where you hit it. So if you hit it here, all the blocks on top of it will disappear. But um, this mod is a lot different where you could just, you know, cut it down anywhere you like. So if I cut it right here, the whole entire tree goes down. There we go. Now that is awesome, guys. There's a bunch of chickens over here seeing what I'm doing. I'm cutting down trees like very fast and that is crazy. So yeah, this mod is very cool. It's a very short mod. There isn't much to it. It just allows you to cut down trees very fast. But I just wanted to review this mod and show you guys what's available in the Minecraft community. So if you guys want this mod, it's also multiplayer compatible. That is amazing. So you can go out and play with all your friends. I believe it is multiplayer compatible. Yeah. It should be, but um, there is a plugin that does the same exact thing, so you don't have to install a mod for your uh, server. You could just install a plugin, but the plugin's kind of messed up. Also, if I believe if you place down wood, I'm not entirely sure if it'll cut it all down. Oh, yes, it will. So make sure you don't use this mod with your houses if it's made out of jungle wood and stuff like that. I don't think it affects planks as well, so let's just grab some planks and see if it affects planks. And no, it doesn't. So it only works on the wood itself, and beware, because if your wood... I mean, not your wood, but I mean, if your house has wood like this and it starts to move like that, then if you cut it down, it should be able to destroy it. So be careful where you're uh, using this axe. So yeah, even if it's like on the floor like this, you see this, and if I cut it down like that, there we go. You can see that it just goes all the way. And it's very, very easy to use this mod. And it's so easy to install this mod. It doesn't really require an API. So that's kind of a benefit right there. And that is basically it about this mod, guys. It's a very quick mod. And I just want to go over this one more time and go over the pros and cons of the mod before we go and review this mod or actually show you how to install it. So how about we check out the pros and cons of this mod. And from there, I'll show you guys how to install this mod. And then we could wrap it up. And uh, look forward to the next mod review because this mod is a very small mod. You can just cut down trees like a champ, just like the timber mod and the trade capitator. So if you guys were looking for a mod like this, then there you guys have it. It's an easy mod to install. So let's check out the pros and cons. The pros and cons. This mod is epic. So how about we break it down to the pros and cons of my list right here. So first off, the pros. You could cut down trees very fast. Now that's pretty cool. The next thing is that the mod was made with one class file, so there shouldn't be any conflicts when installing other mods. The next thing is that you won't lag. Alright, that's good. You don't need a mod that lags you. The next thing is that it's multiplayer supported. It also is compatible with a lot of other mods, since it only requires one class file to install, and it requires no API to run properly. Now that right there is the pros of this mod. Let's check out the cons. So one of the cons is that it does not work in creative mode. So if you're in creative mode and you're trying to cut down a tree, it's not going to work. The next thing is that it's overpowered. Yes, it is. 
when you break a uh, tree or when you cut down a tree, it doesn't really damage the axe in any way. Also, there's no config files, you can't find any where you're able to change your keys. Another thing that this mod does not automatically work on modded trees. For an example, the Twilight Forest trees, it doesn't work on those trees. Another con is that it maintains the same durability as if you're cutting down one log. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is very easy to install so we shouldn't have ourselves any issues. What you guys are going to do is get the downloads in the video description below or click on the annotation around this video if there are any annotations and what you guys are going to do is get the downloads. So once you're going to get the downloads, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and the downloads you're going to get is Minecraft Forge 1.6.4 and then you're going to be getting the Minecraft Forge um, version of the Lumberjack mod. Uh, listed in the video description so once you get the downloads let's go ahead and get started installing this mod it's very very easy to install so um let's go ahead and do this what i'm gonna do is open up minecraft's launcher so the reason why we're gonna open up minecraft's launcher is to download minecraft 1.6.4 it's very simple to install it all right so from here you should locate right here profile where it says your username and go here to edit profile once you go to there to edit profile it should say right here use versions and find release 1.6.4 which should be indicated right here release 1.6.4 click there once you have found release 1.6.4 go ahead and click right here open game directory the reason why is because we're going to come back to this very soon it has automatically opened up our dot minecraft folder so just leave this open for now now back here where I told you to get release 1.6.4, go ahead and click save profile and then press play for Minecraft to download 1.6.4. So leave that running. And now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and click uh, click quick game from Minecraft. All right, so that's a little tongue twister right there. And now you're going to open up Minecraft Forge 1.6.4. So double click Minecraft Forge 1.6.4. Right here is the mod, uh, the mod system installer. Go here to uh, install client and then press OK. There we go. That's how to install Minecraft Forge 1.6.4. You run it, install client, press OK, and then press OK on the complete message. Now we have, we have successfully installed Forge 1.6.4. Now what we're going to do is install the Forge Lumberjack, which is right here. So in order to install this, you're going to find your .minecraft folder, which is right here. And we're going to install this through the mods folder. So make yourself a new folder and call it mods, M-O-D-S, and press enter. So right here inside our .minecraft folder, we have made ourselves a mods folder. Go into that mods folder and simply drag over the Forge Lumberjack mod straight into the mods folder. Once you have done that, you have successfully installed this mod correctly. Now that you've, now that you've done that, go ahead and open up Minecraft's launcher again. And what we're going to do is go here to profile, which should be right here, profile and go to forge. So profile forge, now press play, now press play again. There we go. So hopefully the tutorial wasn't really that fast. Um, it's because I'm really used to installing mods very fast. So if it was very fast for you, be sure to rewatch the tutorial and it should be very simple to install this mod. Go here to mods and you should see that the lumberjack mod is now selected and it works. So hopefully you did enjoy this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and click that like button if you guys are fans. So thank you very, thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next mod review. There we go. That's what I was going to say. So yeah, see you later.